watching a game that Troy ain't enjoying cause I never seen it anyway. Oh, I'm Fucking seeing gross. Troy run around as an earthworm trying to save the day. Hey, that's what I mean. Oh, I know Troy can't take that earthworm and run him down in the ground. Mm, I just like to sing over here like I'm a dirty old junkyard hound. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, what is going happen? Oh, Nolan North Troy Baker, it's Retro Replay, and I am carrying the show so far. Because Troy is not happy does that mean that with I... this earthworm. Jim, does talk that, to does... me about what are your problems no, does, here. Does that, does that mean that I carry this show really? Most of the time. Really? I think I think you carry it, because I'm just here. Uh, I think so. I'm only here about like 8% of the time. <laughs> Drew really threw me off because I, oh my gosh, there's, you know, I'm playing off of like my, my memories of stuff a lot of times, and I played this game on the Genesis, or the, you know, Mega Drive if you're in the UK, um, and this is like, it's the, the SNES is just like, I've never seen this sense. game, isn't not this sense. crazy? You never seen this game at all, Earthworm no, Jim? No, I've heard of Earthworm Jim, but I've never seen it. So now I'm a little disappointed in Drew that he would. I mean, Drusef J. Drusefine has brought out this Ooh, game. He uses baptized. I did. Uh, a lot of people wonder what the J in the middle is for. Juicy. Mm. His mother uh, was <sighs> conceived him while eating juicy fruit gum. Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. It's not chewing. Juicy it. fruit gum. Yeah. And she didn't just chew it, she consumed it. Caused a lot of backup problems. Don't, Not true. Hey, here's the thing. Here's Not the true. Thing. Kids, don't swallow your gum, unless it's hubba bubba. What, that's, not, that's, that's, that's a misnomer. You know what? I yeah. once ate a pack of chocolate hubba bubba. Remember they had chocolate hubba no. bubba, which was, it was like a Tootsie Roll, but you couldn't swallow it? And I almost choked. Wait, wait, wait. T you're not supposed to swallow Tootsie Rolls either. Were you dropped on your head as a child? You just put Tootsie Roll pops in your mouth and swallow them like pills? No, you chew them and yeah. then you swallow. Well, they had, they made, Hubba Bubba made, or Bubblicious. You know, go, don't, just do Google it. I don't know. They made a chocolate chewing gum. And it was the most frustrating thing as a kid because I should be swallowing this. <laughs> and you can't. So you just, it was chocolate spit, basically. Yeah, like a you were sense swallowing. memory of. Yeah. <laughs> but I ate a whole. And is, I, that and where, I, is that where dipping came for you? <laughs> I guess <laughs> what we do, we're going to just go out in the oh. ballpark and that. Now that is, something, that is something you don't want to swallow. Where did that come from? What? What did the dipping Do you remember the first we're time? We're going from dipping? gum to dipping. Welcome to the show. Uh, do you remember that? Okay. In case people don't know what dipping is. Who doesn't uh, know what dipping is? Unless you like something you do on the farm. There's cow listen, tipping listen, and there's cow dipping. Listen, listen, Texas. <laughs> that's, that's, when you, hey. that's when you get real romantic with a cow and you're like, I just want to dip you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what All is, right, move for me, bitch. Please, tell, tell um, people what dipping is. So dipping is, is tobacco that is in a small round can. Because mm. there's chewing tobacco in a pouch Did that you, you put in the thing? cheek. You... And you chew on that and... And you spit, and it's a lot of spit. But dipping goes between cheek and gum. Copenhagen's most famous, then like skull and stuff like that. So, not an advertisement. My brother, who's seven years older than me, he started doing it, and I thought he's cool. It's around baseball, and I wanted to try it. And You're how old? Nine. <laughs> I was I was four. No, um, I was Holy. probably about I want to say. 12, 13. No shit. That but young. I tried it. Okay. I didn't get into it till I I, till later. Go ahead. But um. I'll never forget, so, uh, and my cousin from Iowa came out to live with us, and, and he did it. I remember this stuff called Hawken, and it was like, like, and my brother's like, oh, that's candy, because he was doing Copenhagen, which is like the real stuff, which is as fine as, like, coffee grounds. Go smokeless with Skoll or Copenhagen. A pinch is all it takes. I tried it, and the thing is, this is, a, this is a, you'll love this, so... I didn't drink when I was a kid. Like I just, you know, I was I really wanted to be an athlete and I thought so I wasn't drinking and you know, I remember going over 12 no, 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 like counting bourbon. No, like 14, 15 is when I I mean the first time I tried it was then. But like 14, 15 I was probably when I really 
I, I, I did it a little bit. And I, I remember I was going to go to a party and I was asking my cousin and my, my brothers about, you know, uh, peer pressure. And people, everyone drinks and I want to look. He said, get a can of dip. I said, what? He said, you get a beer, you dump it out. You know, people think you drank it, but then you put in a dip and you spit in the bottle. Way cooler. And people would be like, well, you're not drinking. It's like, oh, I got a dip. And they're like, oh. And, and like, oh. He's, so it was like, a, it was kind of the cool thing. Well, here's the thing. I went to a party, put one in, did exactly like they said, sat on the counter in this kitchen, mm. the party, talking everything. Now, the nicotine in this stuff, if you've never done it, you will vomit. It will hit you and you will vomit. And it's like this cold sweat feeling and this horrible feeling of nausea waves go over you. But if you ride it out, I was told, you'll be all right. Well, I was sitting there and in this party, I just must have gone just white and that whole nausea and it kind of passed I was like, okay and just tips spitting in this bottle and and i'm just not feeling good and i'm like okay i'm okay though and everybody said hey let's go in the other room we're going in the other room and i jumped down off the counter and my stomach stayed on the counter and i was like, oh! and i ran to the through the back door of somebody's house and just started vomiting <laughs> over this off this balcony mm -hmm. into their above ground pool that I wasn't aware it was below it. <laughs> Just started throwing up into it. Was anyone in the pool? No one was in the pool, but the funny uh, thing is I- What a I, relaxing, I, nah! <laughs> I, 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 but the thing is, is like the party's going on inside, nobody saw me go out there. And this is one of those decks where, you know, stairs down to mm -hmm. where the pool full of vomit is now, down the stairs. Full of it. And I literally went down the stairs, threw the bottle in a garbage can I saw out there and walked home. So you're like, not even going back into the party. Just so sick. Yeah, way cooler than just drinking the beer. Uh, this is one of our funnest things to do because it always goes off the rails. We had to interrupt the episode mm -hmm. to talk to you about uh, people at NordVPN are giving yeah. us soup to stay in a basement. Go. Yeah. Go. Get 75% off NordVPN. Right. It's only $2.99 a month. Plus, you're going to get an additional month free. Yeah, gratis, free, no money. Go to nordvpn.org forward slash retro replay. That's right, nordvpn.org forward slash retro replay. Use coupon code retro replay. That's this show, Nolan North, Troy Baker. That's us. This is the couch. That's right, you're watching the episode. What am I talking about? You should know Nord was selected as the best VPN in the best VPN awards of 2018. They have awards category for that. You I can will be win using an this award, and it's recommended by top uh, leading tech and VPN related sources. So. You know you can trust it, and it's 75% off. I'm going to go order today because I got two high school football games to watch when we're overseas. Mm -hmm. You can do it. So I'm going to be watching them. And I have things that I want to look up when I'm in the Middle East or whatever. I don't really want to talk <laughs> about what he looks up because we do share a wall in many of these hotels. Headboard to headboard. It's, it's noisy. Back to the show. <laughs> um, you were you were 12 years old, you said? No, this is probably about 15. 14, okay, 14, 15. 15. Yeah. I, for me, it was smoking. Like, smoking was my thing. And I don't know, like, where... I even started, I remember, um, it's like six years old or whatever, and I would take, you know, like the cardboard pants hanger? Yeah. I would cut those off and then light those, like, cigars. And like, Let me tell you something. Like, I, I for some reason, I was you that kid. I did. My sister was like, that's, that will kill you. Like, literally, it's just carbon monoxide you're breathing in. And she was like, hey, I want you, I don't want you to do that because I feel like you're going to smoke. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going to smoke. We have a foreign exchange student when I'm, like, 12 years old uh, from Germany named Stefan. And this guy became, like, an older brother to me. Um, he was, he was a senior in high school, so he's like, 17, 18 when he and came how over. how old are you? I'm 12. Okay. And he would go out on a nightly run. And I was like, well, I want to go running with you. And he was like, uh, nah, you should just stay here. Like, no, I want to go running with you. His nightly run was down to the end of our street where it did a little bend. And there was a, a little corner lot right there with this beautiful tree. And he would just sit there. And that's where he'd have his nightly smoke. And I was like, A... I was so devastated. I was like, oh, you smoke. And the first one was so crushed. He was like, don't tell anybody. I'm like, oh, I'm so disappointed in you. Next night, I was like, hey, can I go on a run with you? And I was like, give me one of those things. And he smoked camel filters. And I had my first cigarette. And I remember like 
moving my hand back and forth in front of my face is like I saw like the tracers or whatever. And that to me was getting high. <laughs> I, and for some reason that became my thing. Like I loved smoking and I didn't stop smoking because I didn't like it. I stopped doing it because it's, it'll kill you. It's terrible. <laughs> it's for terrible you. for you. Uh, and I finally too late in my life decided I wanted to get healthy and I was still, I, I got in the gym, started running and I, I was so instantly drained. And, um, the second that I stopped smoking is when like everything turned around for me. You know, when I got out here in, in California and you'd be out, everybody at the time was smoking. Yeah. And there Not was now. a cool thing. My friend and I, my friend used to have this cool Leopard. Zippo Yeah. and we could do the Zippo. And then he taught me Zippo tricks. Yeah. And it was kind of cool at a bar to do that at the time. You think it's cool. Now, if you saw a guy doing it, you'd be like, what a tool. This was my thing. I could be when you could still smoke in bars, especially in Texas, I could do a thing where um, there'd be a girl pulling out a cigarette down at the end of the bar. I could take a book of matches. If I had a book of matches, I would demonstrate to you right here. And I could flick the match and slide it down to where it would slide down in front of you with the lit match up. Kind of makes you curious, don't it? Dude, I think do you I what would. I'm saying? I think I would fuck you. If you did that. <laughs> it that's was the, unbelievable. The douchiest move would be like, boom. now on the rare occasion, then it, hits, it, hits, it hits some wet, it hits some whiskey. Flames come up. Eyebrows are gone. There's a lawsuit. Troy finds <laughs> running down this. Why? Why? <laughs> I am. So, I was just trying to impress you. you get the guy in the hat. He ran uh, out the door. Uh, he smokes. He'll only get about two blocks before I he collapses. I have no game. I was just trying to get laid. But you know what? That's that's a good point. What? I remember doing the thing. I brought cigarettes. I remember buying them. Mm. Buy it, cigarettes. I would buy cigarettes. Or were you the guy that never bought them? Like, never I bought them. I was oh, the guy that bite them. Dick. I was the dick. But here's the thing. I would buy them when I'd go out because it was a great, if you didn't have great game, it's a great icebreaker. Girls like, you have a cigarette? <laughs> like, yeah, I do. <laughs> the best is when like you're so drunk that you like, you, you light a cigarette. Let me tell you something. And you throw it in the light another one. Or you have one in your mouth, you're like, where's my cigarettes? And you're like, I like I've been that drunk before. I like the guy at the end of the night. Such a weird there turn with his for the cigarette. Show. It's just like <laughs> just dangling. It's hey, dangling. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like stuck it's like stuck to his lip. <laughs> and he's just like uh, and then he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, big breath. Man. That... <laughs> Let me get... I know her. Like... <laughs> Earthworm Jim does not smoke, resembles a cigarette. Uh, don't know how we got off on that, but welcome to the tangent. Jeez. Do we continue? Oh my um, god. This isn't working. I want to try. So uh wow. again, I don't know anything about this. Uh earthworms, as you know, an earthworm is good for uh if you're going bass fishing. Well, if you're going bass fishing, you want to use an earthworm, but if you're gonna you do a more of a cold water fish, you probably wanna do Well You probably <laughs> don't wanna use Did you actually nothing, spit? But, uh, that actually sounded like you spit. Yeah. I like say, this to guy use earthworms because they free. Uh, well, that's true. Because lures, you got to pay for. Now, well, I just whoa, nice I right would, off the bat. I, I typically not, now, what do you do? I see pointy shit down low. You don't want to do that. You don't. You don't want to do that. You don't want to uh, just jump onto those spikes. If you do it. It hits you in the boot, and you jump up in the air, and you'll jump up onto well, the Well, how do chains. I jump onto that rusty chain? So, while you're up here on a... Take that rusty chain. That sounds and like a woman run. sleeping with a red-headed dude. I'm going to jump on that rusty chain. I set yeah. up Johnny Cash. Is that a woman's voice? He said, if it is, then you check for an Adam's apple. Um, I'm sorry, you set up Johnny Cash. I don't know that song. Isn't that terrible? Love Johnny Cash. Or you could do Chris Cornell. Like you could do Soundgarden or I'm gonna break my, I'm gonna break my, break my rusty chain. You can do either one. Play, play the Chris Cornell one. So why, whilst you're up here on this lovely platform that's far yes. more secure, I would highly suggest you familiarizing yourself with the buttons on the Well, SNES. this is shooting. This is S shooting. What does this do? S that one does nothing. This jumps Jump. and this snaps his little head. Snaps his head like a whip. Well, it is whip. like a whip. It's like a, it's like, 
He's a buff little worm, I'll tell you that much. Just be real top of again. Doesn't do a lot of legs. Not a lot of leg gait. Leg gait. Yeah, you know what? He, he's like, it's, it's that, it's that prit. Oh, he gets bored and he jumps his body. Somehow. That's pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll pull his head off and begin to jump rope. Do you need some help with the layout, with the Bhutan layout? Yes, please. For your plasma blaster or any other weapon you get, yeah. also acts as an accelerator for your rocket. That's button Y. I don't know, oh, I forgot you could do that for your, yeah. So like if you jump, you can, you can propel yourself. There you go. Now there's a dog that's what be chomping on your ass. Now why, why don't I just shoot that little son bitch? You wanna point down at him and shoot your gun. Uh. So why? Uh, button A does the head whip, and the bungee shove activates Shit. shield on rocket flights. So like if you jump. Oh, I'm trying to, that's a shoot, that's a shoot thing. So I'm just jumping up there. This is great. Button X. Turns on Mrs. Schultz's porch light in Germany, so quit pressing it! What are those things? Do I want those things? I do. I like that very much. Do you understand that was a joke? I did. That means I... button X doesn't do anything. That's what I learned. I... Control pad. Hey, it controls which way you move and which direction you look. What did you think it did? This is a, <laughs> a very, very clever instructional manual. So you're shooting the dogs. There you go. Bye, doggy. And those things come to me. And now so you're, you jump always look, he, if you drop below Shit. the uh, one hundred percent, then you die. So, and you have three lives. Here's what's interesting: those you're kind of like traversing using those things, and those can yeah. help you jump and stuff. But it also kind of works as an obstacle because you don't have much control. So there's your little head whippies. Uh, so when you jump like that, hit your little Y button, and you'll have a little propulsion rocket. So if I hit the Y when I go? Hold on, I want to go. Do I have to shoot my head to catch the ledge? Yeah, yeah, get uh, it! You ultimately oh, will do that, go. yes. Now, that looks like something I should be able to jump on and, and slide down. But I, I just did and it didn't. Hey, look, I'm wearing my little underwear. It's box of briefs, Great my man. Great um, So if I do that... I don't, so that thing I don't grab onto, because I just tried. Yes, uh, you can move in multiple directions in this game. It's pretty cool. Uh, but you probably want to go to the right. So, Shit. there you go, and you'll, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. immersive mm -hmm. gameplay. Get that crow, because he will grab your head, so shoot him. I'm trying to, I forget which one it is. Mashing. Oh, there it is. There you go. It's that one. There's another crow up there or something. Here to this. 94. <gasps> can you tell me about this game? I can Maybe? tell you about the game, but I want to tell you what happened in 1994. Whoa, that sounds, that sounds bad. Such an amazing movie came out in 1994. Which one is that? There's never enough time. Never enough for what? That's right. There's never... Enough time. There's never enough time. I want those things. Those things. You are want to avoid the things that are falling down, but you want to get the things that Shit. are. You go into the mall earlier. That's what I'm asking. No, I am not going to the mall. Keep spelling, Mister. Ten percent. That's not good. That's not good. So jump up, and now you'll continue from there. So at least you get to that point. Shoot that guy. 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 That guy takes a lot of bullets to the a face. Lot of you, that's what I'm saying. You, you did the little head whip. That's more like a melee okay. button. God damn it. Yeah. This game's frustrating. Frustrating. It's super fun. Some people super say fun. frustrating. It sounds to me like you were setting me up for what we like to call here on Retro Replay the. Here it comes. Wait for it. 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 What? Thank you. Jim wasn't always a studly superworm. Jim's his name. Uh, earthworm, if you're nasty. He was once just a spineless dirt eater with no real mission in life. Dot, dot, dot. Then a cosmic twist of fate placed him in control of an ultra high tech indestructible super space cyber suit created by the evil genius Professor Monkey for a head. Great names, dude. Like, people are getting high and making video games. I like his it. His name is Earthworm. Earthworm Jim. Oh, and Earthworm his Jim. boss is <laughs> <laughs> uh, Professor um, Monkey for a Head. 
<laughs> just looking around the room, just coming up with stuff. Uh, transforming him into an amazing annelid. Uh, that is a, uh, that is a, a warm. Do you remember, do you remember dissecting your earthworm? I think it was the first one you- I don't think ever... they do that anymore, and looking back on it, it's kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up that they did that. It's like, hey, kids, uh, especially young kids, like we did this when we were like sixth, seventh grade, right? So we're like 13, 14 years old. It's like, ah, here's, a, a here's a dead thing that we want you to touch and you're going to find out how all it works. I, that formaldehyde smell of, of dissecting a frog, like we never did the pigs and shit like that, but that's, okay. go. Earthworm, did it. Right. I was like, all right, earthworm, yeah, I get it. And no, then it I've grows. seen them. No, and then, you know, you, you, but it's like, you know, there's like, okay, so you're at your stomach. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> then we did the frog and I was like, felt at bad. Your stomach. <laughs> it's a frog, it's like, and the frog, you know, it's just out just there. Like and it's like, and out. it's pinned its hands. It's like, it's like frog Jesus. It's right. got the spikes through its hands and its feet. And you're like, fuck me. Who did this? Was this a Romans? Um, but it's, it's, it's brutal. And then they went to the, the fetal pig and I was did like, did you oh, do the pig? Had to, it's mm -hmm. like, you had to do it. And it was like, That's jacked. You had, it was jacked, right? And it stunk in it, but it was, you know, it had a face. And I remember taking a piece of paper and I covered the face. Cause I didn't want to look at the face. Oh, I don't no. even like to go to a luau to this day. Cause it's just like, hey, let's, hey, you want some pork? Here's its fucking face. Especially cause like the, those little baby pigs that always look like, they look like babe. And they're just like. Oh, beautifully done. I can't tell you how grateful I am to y'all. Yeah, they look like they're yeah, smiling. Yeah, well, they, they, they get the little, it's a couple little teeth and they, they yeah. don't worry, it's just a fetal pig. Oh, so you killed it right before it was, I, anyway. When, then so, the next step mm, was a human. cat. No. Yep. They had a what? cat, but it was for the for the next step, the next stage. What grade is this? This is high school, no. and they, they were. But that was like AP biology or something like that. And I was like, you know, I'm out. I I'm remember take chemistry and said, I'm not. I wouldn't. I refused to dissect a cat when I was. Uh, so I graduated in '94. So like '92, '93, I think it was the first year. I was like, I don't want to do this. And it was the first year, at least I remember, where you could opt out. They're like, if you don't want to do this, we can't fail you for not doing this. Excellent! Yay! They at least they took your uh, yeah. It was not an option. We had to do the pig. That's, that's uh, the, you had to do the pig, which really bum, it bummed me out. I just don't like that shit. Like, Everybody walks out, out of that class point. and you're just kind of like, I guess we're going to lunch now. Oh, here's something stupid that I did in in science class. We could um, somehow I found this out where if you don't try this seriously. You spray hairspray on your hand? Shit. What about it? And then you light it on fire? What? It burns the hairspray, not your hand. So you I, me? in chemistry class, sprayed my hand with hairspray, lit it on fire, and raised my hand to ask a question. And the look on my teacher's face was of both shock, fear, and bewilderment. <laughs> and she could not believe all three of those all three. things. She was like, I Hey, go to the office. Like <laughs> she had to just like go to an instinctual response. Like there's nothing in the teacher's manual, nothing in orientation Nothing's that covers. Nothing's gonna teach me. About what this. do you do in the event that your student decides to light his hand on fire and raise his hand to ask a question? Principal O'Shaughnessy, get out of my goddamn classroom before I break my foot off in your ass. And she, she's like. We need to go right now, and so she escorted me to the to the principal's office. If there was a punch card for the principal's office, dude, I would have graduated way earlier, just because <laughs> I went all the time. And she, I, I tried to justify, it, and she's doing that whole like, <laughs> like traumatic laugh to just deal with it. She's like, I don't, I don't, and I was like, I don't know oh, what come on, do. this is this is chemistry. She didn't, she didn't buy it. By the way, things come at you really. Hold on, I won't get. I think I might need some more. You're gonna, you're gonna love the names of the characters, um, because it almost sounds like Garbage Pail Kids. I remember those. Remember Garbage Pail Kids? Hell yeah. Um, there's a free man. How do I garbage, get that free man? Or, or, or Cabbage Patch Kids? That was a. That was, you can whip your head up there. That was a real thing. Do you remember like when they would? There was a uh, something where they did they like dropped them out of airplanes or something, and they like rained Cabbage Patch Kids. M parents were lining up at Toys R Us and murdering each other 
to pick up Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah, it was like... The near riot, one woman broke her leg. Four others were hurt. People don't even... How do I do this? Uh, so here's what I do. Jump up there, kneel down. Kneel? Yep. Just, like, just press down. Now, press left. Press left? Yeah. Bang. Now stand up. Now Bang. jump and whip? Yep. Maybe I'm wrong. But I taught you how to do that. Um, so, <laughs> here's the names. These sound like, these sound like Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, we have Evil Queen Pulsating, Bloated. <laughs> she's not that evil if she's Festering, pulsing. Sweaty, huh. Pus Filled, Malformed Slug for a Butt, or Queen Slug for a Butt in short. Mustering up some newfound courage, Jim decides to embark on a quest to rescue the beautiful princess. There's always a princess in this story, isn't there? Why is there never a prince? Could be going for a prince. However, not only does she not return Jim's affection, oh, I got it. I got his head. There you go. But she is also crushed by the flying cow that was launched at the beginning of the game by Jim himself. <gasps> what? Dude, you can't fight that? That's messed up. I don't remember that at all. So wait a minute. What a bitch. She gets her comeuppance. She does. Comeuppance. Come up and side. What the hell is going on? Oh, I know what I gotta do now. Boy, there's so. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, dude. There's. This is. So many things. Um. I have to shoot that way. I did it. I did it. I did it. I said I job. couldn't do it, but I did it. I shot that fucking bird. In between most levels, a racing level called Andy Asteroids is played. Unlike the rest of the game, it places the viewpoint behind Jim. The player must direct Jim on his rocket in a race really? against Psycho. Psycho? Psycho. Get it? Psycho, Psycho. Psychic I get it. Crow. Uh, through a tube like structure, phallic, whilst collecting items and boosts and avoiding asteroids. If the player wins, the next level is started instantly. If the player loses, a special boss fight against Psycho must be won in order to progress to the next oh, level. Psycho! What a great design. Who designed this shit? This is craziness. Shiny entertainment. Look at that, I hit 100%. I go to 64% because that fucking dog. fucking dog, man. You have bad... Uh, I, I'm a dog person. Bad experiences too. with dogs. Biting you in the butt. There's no way. What? I knew, okay, so I remember there was an Earthworm Jim television series. Uh, Jim was voiced by the one and only Dan Castellaneta. That's right. Did you know that? Homer Simpson. Homer famous. Simpson. Did you look this up? You, huh? you read the tidbits? I did read tidbits. Um, I mean, Drew, Drew goes through the trouble of giving them to us. Sometimes I, I, I really. like, to, like to do it. Then I shred all the paper and put it in his cage. You battle against the devil himself who's actually an evil cat. I never got this high in the game. You never got this high in a game. Picking up what I'm throwing down. Wah, 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 wah. Later in the game, you also get to face off against a robot chicken. I've heard of that. Seth Green! Where are you? I bet he was a, he was a fan. Um, I'm a... I, this game is visually it's, stunning. It's fun. I, I don't. I'm not good. Oh, shit. What is that? It's a nonsensical side scroller uh, with elements of a run and gun. That's absolutely true. Do you want to try some of these chat codes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What do we do? What do we Pause do we... the game before entering these codes. So as we know, the debug menu, which is the developer screen, right. uh, is very helpful for us. So when so we go to the debug I, menu, so you're going to pause. That's pause. So to get into that, you need to press A and left. B X A A B X A. Cheat codes and game. I did oh, it. Oh, we in the those, debug level. See the Earthworm that looks, Jim. That looks like an like eighties. Looks like the Queen cover. There's Earthworm Jim. He's got big old eyes for an Earthworm. I dissected one of them fuckers. He ain't got eyes like that. Um, 1994. I love that shiny entertainment. Shiny entertainment. 1994. Again. Gave us one of the best movies ever made. Have a nice day. We can go to the level select if we want. 
Um, so if we want to, what do I press to? Oh man, to the different levels. You want to go to the end? Peter Puppy, Bungie, Evil, Snowman, like Hell or Heck, New Junk City, Psycho, hmm. Darkness. Are you afraid of the dark? You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Vin Diesel. That's not bad. Are you afraid of the dark? There's a movie that he did called Find Me Guilty that was actually really, really good. And it's a true story about a kind of a mobster that decided to um, defend himself in court. Really? And he like defied the whole mafia family. Um, it's, a, it's a fascinating movie. She says, the one in the mirror is yours, honey. This one belongs to the budget. And I, uh, oh, I get to do it. Hung out with Vin Diesel. There it is. And uh, we talked about the movie. It was like, of all the movies that he was- Is he a good guy? He's a really good dude. Like we got drunk on Corona and tequila. At this great restaurant called like Memphis. It's not there in Hollywood anymore. I walked up to him and I was like, hey man, um, we had a mutual friend and he was super kind of standoffish. And then as soon as I talked about this friend, he was like, no shit, okay. So we hung out and I said, there's a movie that you did. And he was like, here it comes. Gonna talk about like, whatever. You could talk about Riddick all day long. He owns the rights to that. For the game too. Well, the first the first movie in the Riddick thing was um, uh, what? Pitch Black. Pitch Black. Yeah. Um, with Claudia Black, who's uh, Chloe from uh, the Uncharted, Uncharted series. Yeah, she was in, she that. in that. She's one of the really? people. Yeah, she's in. Uh, I have to go back and watch it. Again. She's the one who was. She's with the group. <laughs> she didn't make it. None of them do except Riddick. And the girl. And a girl, yeah. but he, well, you think you find out it's a girl later. Yeah. Why is he on you? Because she was on a period. <laughs> literally, <laughs> they can smell the <laughs> menstruation. <laughs> literally, literally, that's a that's a beat. That's a plot moment <clears throat> in the movie. Bloody hell. Yeah, uh, but we started talking about that, and he um, he's like all about it. So he owns. The rights to that he got it from universal they're like sure what are you gonna do with it and he does chronicles of riddick which is where he met my buddy carl yeah. uh and then uh he did the game and everything but yeah we talked about find me guilty it was really really good and there's I'll also three one of my favorite moments of of him ever uh is in a movie called boiler room where it's uh he's it. talking to the phone upside down he goes hey kid Get the fuck out of here! Your business. Hey, kid. Get the fuck out of here! Uh, where are we going here? Everybody always gets on to us. Who gets on to us? A lot of fans, they want to see the game. Especially Look, Earthworm Jim. People ask us to play, but no one has ever said, shut up and get to the game. They say it to me when you're not paying attention. Right? You come to me, you go, Uncle Noli, we want to see you play Earthworm Jim. People say, yes, well, would you play Earthworm Jim? But no one ever says, shut up and Wait, get back to somebody might have said, play Jim's Earthworm. <laughs> no. You want to do Asteroids 1? I was going to Asteroids 1. There you go. All right, let's, which one? Uh, Asteroids, Asteroids 3. Sure. Uh, when you do that, I want you to... Um, there's also a code here for Nick. I thought it said Nick Jonas. I was like, what is that? <laughs> it's like, you start a boy band, and then you leave them, and you go off and have a very successful career. Yeah, Andy Asteroids. Start. Now, what am I supposed to do? Don't die. So don't hit those. That's a good power up right there. That. And you should, the, the Y button is also controls the, the boost, right? This makes it go faster. So that's what you need. That's why I was trying to get the plasma. There you go, buddy. There you go. Yes. Doing very well. Oof. Uh, 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 uh huh. Get those. The balls are good. <laughs> Get the balls. I'm trying to move. It wouldn't. Uh, damn it. Now, damn it, boy. Get the balls. Get, Get, the that, ball. get that ball. Get that Get ball. Get that ball. Oh, uh, fuck. I missed that ball. There. I How are you avoiding everything? I missed the fucking ball, bro. Flip what you're doing. If you're trying to try to get the asteroids. <laughs> And then, and then avoid, 
<laughs> and then avoid the balls. It he does. He's not responding as well. Is it just left and right? Oh, I think the down one. That's what's my downfall. I was pushing down like you go down and right, like it's got, but that ain't nope, working. just left and right. So, so hit that, hit that plasma. Go. Push. Let's go fast. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. It was also ninety four. Must go faster. <laughs> So there you go. Those are great. Those are great. Those are great. Ah, oh, shit. I keep those getting the down one. Those are not great. Those are great. Those are, those are great. Those are not great. Those are great. That's great. That's great. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Huh. 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 Oh, shit. I didn't want to hit that, daddy. You're getting close to him. You're getting close to him. Hold on. You're I'm so trying close. to. I'm so trying close. to get. That's what she said. Oh, I'll never forget what my wife said on our honeymoon. Shit. Not yet, not yet. Wait for me, wait for me. My wife was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Shit. Oh, you're almost there. I'm blaster, trying. blaster, blaster. You got to beat him. You got to beat him. If you don't, you got to do a boss battle. Ha, 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 sequencia. I'm a miss you. Umba, 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 yeah. Whoa. Did you win? Did you beat him? Did you win? Did you beat him? No. Oh, you didn't. Now you gotta battle him. Now you gotta battle him, Dude, bro. you do the battle. Do the battle for me, bro. I'm scared. I'm wicked scared of the side Psycho crawl. got a battles? Did I get the infinite power up? Plasma power up? Did I get it, bro? Psycho won. Well, Psycho, you suck it. Hey, look. Oh my god, it's a robot chicken. What is he throwing at you? He's throwing... Are those fish hooks? That's dirty. That's plain dirty. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's throwing fish hooks at you. Infinite energy refills. All right, start. And I want to go. He's got a gun that shoots Hold on. fishing hooks at you. Because you're an earthworm. I get it. I get it. B. Eleanor. That's what I call. I fry that look, crow. Yeah, go on, get him some. Get you some, for Christ, I grow. Go on, boy. In your big stupid yellow suit. How you like that? How you like that? I think he, he took a couple. He took a couple blows. He took a couple. Oh, you got him in the sights, bro. You got him. Shoot him in the ass. Shoot him in the ass. The big yellow ass over there. Shoot him in the ass. I shot him in the ass. It's one of these. What I did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm very excited. You're at 45 percent. He's he's got to be. Come on, come on! You can't take that out. Am I supposed to be doing anything different? Who made this, this suit? This is amazing. This suit is just Edna Mode. No kicks. Now go on. Your new suit will be finished before your next assignment. You know what? The big the big googly eyes on them. They what? really they really um they humanize them. You know, they bring the earthworm down to our level. I put googly eyes on my plants. Because cactus is a dangerous. Cactus will stab you in your hands, your face, your throat. Good rule of thumb is never turn your back on a cactus. <laughs> a good rule of thumb is don't turn your back on a cactus. That's how it's done. Oh, yeah. Shoot, shoot him, shoot him. Shoot him! Oh, oh, oh. Snap him, snap him, snap him. Snap, you know, you're snapping him. You're not shooting him, you're snapping him. You say, are you saving bullets? Is that the idea? Yeah, he's got two. Oh. Oh, well, now I've got it. But... At 40%. I'll come in on line, sir. <laughs> Play it. Power coming on line, sir. Come on. 25, 15. Oh, God. You need to shoot and jump and get away from the hooks. The hooks. The hooks! The hooks! How about a man? The hooks. Let's go to. Um, oh, let me see. What are some I other? I want that. You want to try to be it? You go for it. Maybe I just want to shoot some psycho. Um, we wouldn't be in this situation if you just uh, beat him. Avoid the hooks. Avoid the hooks. Avoid the hooks. Avoid the hooks. Come on, bitch! 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 Wow! Wow! Wow, are you gonna do it? Doubt it. Came close though. Felt good about that. That little bit of the jump and evade actually helps a little bit. Psycho one. I'm gonna get you. I mean, 
I mean, they really lighten them up. I got ammo. I thought I had unlimited ammo. Ten percent. You did it! That's right. It's not a problem. Oh, wow. All I right. took down the Psychro. You know what? You did what I couldn't do. I gave my get best, and I guess my best wasn't, wasn't good enough. enough. So here we are back where we were before. I feel like um, we could play this game for a little bit longer, but we've learned a lot about each other already. You were not a teenage alcoholic. <laughs> you didn't start drinking when you were nine years old. No, I was just a stupid teenager. With a beer can and a mouthful of dip. And hope in my heart. <laughs> like Copenhagen in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> and vomit in the pool. Holy crap. Well, um, while we figure out the rest of uh, Earthworm Jimmy's, um, we're going to not dip, not smoke, might drink. And in the meantime, we ask you, what do we play next? Love and bloom. Feel it in your heart. It's love and bloom. I don't think that's a song. Thank <laughs> you.